And it's live at five, and it's happy uh, patch day. And I gotta say that overall, uh, I'm loving it. And uh, the bugs have been nominal and uh, relatively unimportant. And we've got a lot of things to talk about with the patch. A lot of things I really like. Uh, first things first, we've got a Shuri legendary calendar that is coming out after when your account resets. For me, it resets at one in the morning. And the Shuri event is going to start on the 24th. And also, the M event just started right now. And that is going to run for four weeks. It looks like it's structured differently than Simber at Spider-Man. So you need to make, take a look at what makes sense to you. Uh, the biggest thing that I noticed in there is a little bit more expensive. And they removed T4s. And they put in SBCs for the Emma Gold Milestone event. Other things that I want to talk about that I'm really happy about with this. Uh, put some Fs in the chat to Wolverine. But uh, for most players that have a 7 uh, Gold Star Wolverine, depending on what level you're on, you're going to be getting SBCs, 10 SBCs and 3 ABCs. Boy, that is, that is the coolest thing. Other thing too... Uh, there's five mini uniques in the Doom campaign, and three of them are relatively important. The most important one to me was in node 1.7, where we have the glass Ds. I put out videos on all of the Doom campaigns earlier today. It looks like the last three nodes are giving some people some trouble. I ran through it with Avengers. Avenger rework is pretty cool. Requires some T4s. Uh, other thing, too, there is two in-game tags... There is the Rogue Agent tag, which is going to be used for the Swarm event. And the data mine suggests that that uh, campaign event is going to go live in about 10 days. So uh, 28th or the 29th. And uh, we're going to talk about the Swarm offers. And then after offer review, we're going to do a uh, Red Star opening for Swarm because there's boosted drop rates right now. Um, there's going to be a mentorship tag. So a lot of people have already seen the mentorship tag. And according to the data mine, and this is open to interpretation, it looks like that mentorship tag is going to be used for a an event similar in that to, let's say, like the, the X-Force event. And how that's going to be structured will be seen, but I'm expecting it to be similar to the X-Force. Uh, other thing, too, is that there's a data mine suggesting there's going to be a PvP milestone. Now, I was expecting some of that to turn on today uh, at server reset. It has not. So stay tuned on that. I, I'm looking through the data mines. All the information is just rushing in right now. Uh, Beast is in orbs. There was an in-game notification of that. So we saw that in the data mine. And then uh, the other thing I want to say is um, Zemo. There was a blitz tag in there. But there almost always is a blitz tag in there. And he's going to be a 100 shard unlock. Woof. Which means that uh, when the new offers come out for Zemo, it's going to be 50 bucks for 55 shards and 8 orbs. So you can have 50, 50 unlock. Oh boy. Uh, a lot of people ask me what star levels I'm going for. And personally, uh, I'm going to be going for 3 stars on Swarm in Red Stars. Uh, Electro, I'm going to be going for 4 stars. Zemo, I want to go for 4 or 5. I might go for 5. And Doc Ock, I want to go for 5. So, I, you know, because, you know, when, you, when you're saving, you're hoarding red stars, you kind of have to push. So we're going to be going for a three-star Zemo. Big shout-out to Cadwin, who's been making some amazing... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this is the piece that I'm excited about. This could be found at 1.7. You can see I'm hanging out in the dumpster with my two friends here. I guess all four of these items are trash. I don't know how to interpret this. And then also on my... Uh, I'm going through Dark Dimension... Dark Dimension 3 for the second time, and I was overly excited about um, the Double Iron Fist. Uh, let me just public service announcement. If you're going into Dark Dimension 3, Node 7, there's you under no circumstances do you want to allow to have two Iron Fists drop. You need to kill them immediately. And I was very excited yesterday when I killed one, and then the other one popped up, and I killed him, and I made it through without having two Iron Fists. And thank you to Cadwin for making this. Okay, so we're going to go into offer review. And, you know, some of this information, you know, that I just gave out right now is coming out of the data mines. We're still getting more information. We're going through it now. I want to talk about Swarm. A lot of people are asking about, should I buy this Swarm pack? Um, Swarm looks like he's only going to work well with Doc Ock. So are you going to get Doc Ock? If you are, then maybe you should consider getting Swarm. Now, he's a campaign character, which is the most free-to-play friendly campaign character. 
and and I can't say to whether he looks good or not, but but Swarm looks not nearly as interesting as Electro in my opinion. And I still haven't figured out how Electro is going to be released, but uh, I'm going to guess Blitz. But um, here's the thing: in 10 days, there's going to be a campaign energy coming out, kind of like the Squirrel Girl event. And you can take a look at how many how many uh, gold stars you got on Squirrel Girl, and you can make a determination if you want to buy this because this will give you like a 10 day head start on him. And for some people, that's going to be worth it, and some people, that's not. Uh, and I'm I did it so I could get started, so I bought one of these, and I unlocked him. Anyways, let's keep going. So I'm also going to have some of the swarm. Um, so swarm offers are going to be in here. So like this one right here, swarm ability. And this is the thing that drives me crazy about this 50% off. Uh, I, and I don't recommend this one right here. 100 for $10. I see one all the time that is 100 for $20. And it also suggests that it's 50% off. You know, no, 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 no. Okay, let's keep going. All right, swarm gear. So yeah. There, there is a legendary offer. I believe there's an Invisible Woman legendary offer that we had once before that offered 60 of these pieces right here for $15. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I don't really see the value personally inside for the blue pieces, so I'm not gonna be buying this. Let's move on. All right, gold. So this is not as good as other offers we had last week. Um, so basically I value gold offers at $2 a piece, so that adds up to about six bucks. And then, then right here we've got Another two dollars. So that is with eight dollars. However, comma, Emma adds another thing to this whole gold evaluation. I mean, it looks like you have to spend two point four million something to max out the Emma every day. I think that I'm gonna have to consider this because gold is important right now, and spending gold is important for that Emma milestones. So even though this falls under my my normal mobile boomer math, I think people might buy this. But anyways, it doesn't line up where it's like an auto buy. Uh, well, let's move on. Uh, swarm training materials. Okay, so this is better than the normal offers. I think these are worth about a buck a piece. So that's like three bucks. And I think those are worth $2. So that adds up to $5. So I'm not gonna buy these. I'm actually still not sure on the training material. Uh, pricing because I'm I'm I so for some reason I have an abundance I even have extra orbs I haven't opened up yet so let's keep going all right oh silver promotion credits I really hate this offer right here uh, the reason why I like this is I hate this is because basically you're gonna spend thirty five dollars to take one character that you currently have at three stars up to four stars and then or if you want to take an existing four star character to five stars, you're gonna spend 105 bucks? No, no, this is trash. No, 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 trash, trash, trash. I don't like this offer at all. Just don't like it. Let's move on. T4 ability materials, okay, this is not good pricing. Uh, this is this is absolute garbage. So there is another offer for $30 for 120 that is better than this. Personally, I would like to see 200 T4s for $20, this is absolute garbage. Um, I've heard that Krakens hate this offer. Uh, they just don't like it at all. Anyways, um, hmm. Catalyst Bunder. Okay, so they have changed this offer a little bit. This offer used to be 100 ABCs for 20 bucks. Now, on the legendary offers, there was an offer for 100 ABCs for $10, but I haven't seen it in about two months. Uh, so the jury's out on this one here. It doesn't quite line up to the idea that I wanted to spend 10 cents per ABC. And if I'm using the 10 cents per ABC methodology, then that this means that this offer should be eight bucks, eight bucks. I probably would spend $10 on this. I think I could spend $10 on ADSBCs, but I'm going to move on from this. Uh, I don't see the value. Uh, again, these are the catalyst pieces and they've sold in the past 50 of these for $15. Let's move on. Uh, Red Star Ultimate Pack. Uh, this is the most that you should spend on Red Stars. Uh, so like if you watch like the Whale Wars things, this is the, the two packs they offer. 
Uh, there's certain this is the most you should spend on what on red stars in my opinion i'm not going to buy this because i'm sitting on 150 red stars i'm going to be opening some here to get swarm up and running here in a short moment anyways let's keep moving on spider versed orb Oof. i have to look to see what's in this what is in this orb chat what is in this orb i actually don't know what's in this orb i'm gonna have to switch screens here because i don't know what's in this orb uh if it has carnage i might be able to get behind this let's see what we got in here uh this is an orb i didn't see before so we're gonna go down here and take a look at it we've got carnage carnage is okay carnage mysterio okay so we've got hmm uh, all right I, I i kind of do like this um if you don't have these characters ma maxed out and you're looking for spider-verse and you're here's the thing about spider-verse so the the og spider-verse uh, the OG Spider-Verse, which are going to be uh, the existing Sinister Six. Uh, not the OG Spider-Verse, but the existing Sinister Six orbs. Let's go down this and look at it again. Um, the existing Sinister Six help you unlock Shuri and Invisible One. Fine. Carnage is in the War Store. Venom is incredibly valuable. I get it. So if you're if you're sprung on Spider-Verse and, you, and you're a little bit of a whale, go for it. I don't see any problem with this. Problem is, I think most people already have fully developed Spider-Verse, so they're not probably going to sell a lot of these. Let's move on. Seven-day energy campaign. Yes, I'm going to buy this. 1,000 energy for five bucks. Sure. Uh, that's not a problem for me. I, I like that. Um, typically, you know, 100 energy for a buck sounds good. So, you know, I figure this is a probably close to $10 in value. Maybe a little less than that, $8. Uh, that I don't have a problem with that. I'm going to use that very quickly. Uh, right now because now I can farm uh, Teenage Warhead also now. So that's kind of a big deal. Still no word on X-23. No word on X-23 and uh, any of that stuff. So so this again, see, this is why I bought that other pack. See, this is this is a thousand energy for $10 and they give you some free stuff that I don't really value that much. I guess this is, I mean, some of it's okay. But anyways, that other pack, five bucks for a thousand energy is just a better value to me altogether. Let's move on. Uh, exclusive offer. Okay, so at best I value these at $2 a piece and this is worth a buck. So this totals up to about $3. So I'm not gonna buy that. Let's keep moving on. Okay, so yeah. So this is this is worth about a buck right here. Premium Morb is worth about a buck. And then 200 power cores is worth more than a dollar. So I'm gonna buy this. Uh, right here if you don't like premium orbs it depends on where you value premium orbs on this if you value premium orbs more than a buck then of course buy it if you value them at a buck buy it if you value them less than a dollar then you don't buy this okay you know if you some people hate premium orbs and they just don't buy them at all so there you go okay red star tech draft uh, we talked about this offer yesterday uh, I can see why people are gonna buy I wish this offer was only nine dollars five ten twenty dollars for random all three of these do benefit from red stars, but uh, I'm not gonna buy this. Uh, special orb draft, I'm gonna cut through it. I don't like this at all. At best, that's worth two bucks. At best, that's worth two bucks. At best, that's worth three bucks. It doesn't really add up. Let's move on. Uh, Legacy one. Okay, so here's the thing. Avengers got reworked. And I think there is a, I've been hearing from a lot of people that on newer accounts, you can run like the wave one Avengers, which I ran inside of the Doom uh, 1.7 through 1.9, they they do hold up really well. They don't really have a lot of sustain, but you know you're going to be able to kind of get some of those characters here in this orb. Uh, if you if you just want to get bulk orbs, I get it. So uh, let me know in the comment section whether you like this offer or not. Uh, they do. There is purple gear and gold in these orbs as well. Um, veteran players are not going to buy this because they have these characters maxed out already. Let's keep going. Orange gear war orb bundle. Okay, so I still don't like this offer, but I do like. For certain circumstances, those bio pieces and, and uh, there's certain situations where I think buying the mini uniques is a good value, specifically in Dark Dimension 3. Like if you're going into cosmic nodes and your your hell is not up and running and your 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 Minerva's not up and running and your Ebony Ma's not up and running. I do like those hidden offers as well. Uh, I thought all those pieces were going to be farmable, but apparently they're not going to be farmable. Uh, but I don't like this one right here because it's just very random. Uh, and uh, I'm, I was extremely disappointed that last night when I found out there was only going to be five of the 15 available in the new Doom campaign and they're going to have two more. So this is like the first 
bulk of, uh, you know, this is Doom 1. There's going to be Doom 2 and Doom 3. So, uh, but they said there's going to be a bonus event to make up for it. Anyways, uh, I was just happy that 1.7 had the, the glass Ds. Uh, that's, that's, uh, it was kind of a big deal. Gold Orb Bundle. I don't like this offer right here because uh, this is a Blitz Orb. That's worth about two bucks. I don't think that's worth anything. So that doesn't really add up to five bucks. And then we're going to keep going. Orb Draft, Premium Orb Draft. Okay, so if this did not have the Ability Orb, I would like this a lot more because I think this is worth a buck. I think that's worth about two bucks. I don't like these at all, and that's worth a dollar. Uh, ability orbs. The problem is, is I think there's certain people that need T3s, and there's really not that many T3s in those ability orbs. I, I believe they need to be reworked. I'm just not a fan of the ability orbs. Limited time sale. All right, at best, this is worth $12, $2 an orb, and that's worth maybe another four bucks. Doesn't not add up to $30. Let's move on. And let's see where we're at. Okay, only if you're gonna do first time completion of the raids. We're gonna kind of skip over all of this other stuff and head over to the free to play account. Cause I don't see anything else there. All right, free to play account. We're gonna go over these, you're gonna skip over these bulk orbs. I'm just gonna say, yes, I like this. This one's okay. Uh, that's fine. Oh, we talked about that one already. No, eh, that's fine. That's great. All right, Draft City. All right, what do you got? Miles, Jessica Jones, Rhino, and Ms. Marvel. 50 shards for 10 bucks. I think that's good if you want to save time. 10 bucks for 50 character shards. Uh, none of those four characters are overly important. I mean, they have their place. Uh, Young Avengers might be coming up right here. Jessica Jones. Uh, is being used actually on a team now in war, which is kind of nice. And Rhino, we're going to find out how important Rhino is in a minute. A problem I have with the OG Sinister Six, which is the five characters we've had, is we don't really know who's going to get dropped off the list and at what power levels are the new characters and the charge mechanic going to override the value of, let's say, a character like Rhino. But I do think Rhino is going to be one of the better, uh, you know, of the original five, probably two will make the final cut to go on the charged six if you will and which two are going to make the cut you know a lot of people are talking about uh vulture and 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 rhino and maybe green goblin mysterio had a rework and uh it's uncertain to know how good uh mysterio is also mysterio got a rework on his middle ability which the way i read it is that he's going to put ability block for two turns on war and it's uncertain if it still only applies to City of Heroes, because originally it only worked on City of Heroes, but they added a new text on Mysterio on the on the middle ability where it says ability block for two turns and then 100,000 flat focus. So as always, there's the way they want it to work, the way it, wor the way it reads and the way that we interpret it, and then lastly, the way that it works in game. So that's probably something that's gonna be discovered here shortly, whether or not you can get ability block on Mysterio's uh, uh, middle ability uh, on war. We'll find out soon. Believe me. Okay. We're going to cut through these. I'm just trying to see if there's any other offers in here. Uh, I like this. I bought this yesterday. I think this is fantastic. I think this is incredible value. Uh, I don't like this one at all. Uh, I mean, we talked about that. I think we've wrapped it up. Um, there's going to be more videos coming out today because we've got a, still a lot of more stuff to test and there's going to be probably several videos coming out here in the next couple days. How are you liking your Avengers? Um, I think they're super T4 defendant, dependent, and I'm a little bit, I'm skeptical they're going to be important. And uh, the biggest question that's been asked to me today is who's going to be the fifth person? Not sure yet. Maybe Ultron, right? Uh, some people are saying, oh, maybe, maybe Avengers plus Ultron will beat Black Order. We'll find out. We'll find out, right? There's a lot of things they're asking. Uh, the problem I have is that they need a ton of T4s. And they, 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 they don't have a lot of sustain, so typically that lends itself to an offensive team rather than a defensive team. I did put them on defense for tonight, but we're going to find out. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming.